Welcome, today, with speeches to Ukraine and the world, Zelensky shapes narrative of the war. The history of most wars is written by the victor after the fact. But Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has created his own sequencing, a storyline of the war against Russia in real time that is intended to rally his people and the Western world. Zelensky has maintained a running narrative throughout the 10-month conflict, telling Ukrainians in nightly video addresses how they should believe in the country's ultimate success. His New Year's Eve address to the nation Saturday night offered another opportunity for him to depict the war in a way that rallied his fellow citizens behind the army. This year began on February 24, he said. The date Russia first invaded Ukraine, it can still be dark, loud, and complicated for us, but we will definitely never be afraid again, the year, he said was our year, the year of Ukraine, the year of Ukrainians. In a hard one at war Ukraine, he said, overcame the panic of confrontation with a much larger foe and fought back, but there were losses too, interspersed in his recorded speech was video footage of the carnage wrought by Russian attacks, leveled apartment blocks and a teddy bear spattered with blood from a missile strike at a train station in April that killed several children. Ukrainians, he said, had cried out all the tears in 2022. Zelensky tallied victories, including the defeat of the Russian army in the battle for Kiev in the war's first month and two successful counterattacks in the northeast and south in the fall. By the new year, 311 days into the war, Ukraine had liberated almost half the land it lost in the initial invasion. In a first, Zelensky spoke of an explosion on the Kerch Strait Bridge, which connects the occupied Crimean Peninsula to Russia, as a success of the Ukrainian military. Ukraine had not previously claimed responsibility for the attack on the bridge in October. Zelensky offered no specific timeline for the war's end, but reiterated the goal of reclaiming all territory, or the return of what has been stolen from us, he cheered on his people, saying much of the world supported them. Ukrainians surprise, he said, Ukrainians are applauded, Ukrainians inspire. In a reminder of the ongoing threat, air raid sirens wailed in Kiev shortly after midnight Sunday and at least one explosion rang out. Air raid sirens blared in Kiev early as another wave of drones launched by Russia at Ukraine's capital and other cities were intercepted, a day after Moscow carried out one of its heaviest air attacks since it invaded its neighbor more than 10 months ago. Ukrainian officials said military air defenses destroyed all of the 16 Iranian-made Shahid drones Russian forces fired at Kiev and other cities. Overnight December 29th to 30th, the enemy attacked with Iranian-made kamikaze drones, the Ukrainian Air Force said in a statement on December 30th. Kiev was targeted with seven drones, according to Mayor Vitaly Klitschko, who said two of the drones were shot down on approach to the capital, while the five others were intercepted over the city. He said there were no casualties, but the windows of two buildings in the city's southwest were damaged by falling debris. An administrative building in Kiev's Holosev district was partially destroyed, military authorities added. The raids came a day after Russian forces pounded cities throughout Ukraine, killing at least three people. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, commenting on the situation along the front line on December 30, said that the fiercest battles continue in the Donbass region. According to him, the Ukrainian military is holding positions and in some areas advancing. The fiercest battles are in Bakhmut, Soldar, and Kremena, he said in his evening video address. In general, we hold our positions and there are also areas where we are advancing little by little, he said. Russian strikes have targeted civilian infrastructure in recent months, leaving millions of people without electricity, heating, and water as Ukraine.